During the last part of the 20th century, great advancements were being made in the field of genetic research. In England, it had been announced that a sheep had been successfully cloned. Secretly, the United States government had been genetically creating animals for more than a decade. Banadine Industries had been commissioned to design and bring into being an alternative to traditional military thinking. AE-73 and AE-74 were designed and conceived for this purpose. The super-intellectual AE-73 looked like a normal golden retriever, while his counterpart AE-74 was considered an unsuccessful attempt. It was hoped that the symbiotic team of intelligence gatherer and precise killing machine would allow that American soldiers would never again have to die in the field. By deploying biogenetic creations, human interaction would be kept to a minimum and the enemy would be swept away. But something went terribly wrong.
Barnes here. Uh, I'll clear up the reptile house. Head on over to the petting zoo. Robertson can't remember whether or not he left the security door open. I'm all over it. One of these days, Robertson's going to forget to breathe. Who's there? Hey, what are you trying to do? Break in? Easy, easy, easy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Uh, I got a little guy just like you at home. <laughs> Can't just run around in here. What the hell was that? A uh, barn here. I, I got an animal loose in the area. Remain silent. At least move. one individual and two security guards were killed. <laughs> Police are unwilling to speculate at this time as to the motive of the killing or even whether the perpetrator is man or animal. How was that, John? Brody, homicide. Yes, Jacob, right here. Morning. Morning, gentlemen. I hope you haven't eaten. Why? Are you serving? Uh, not today, but a couple of the blues you really got to dry heaves from this one. <sighs> what the hell is this? You can figure it out, it'd make my job much easier, you know? Uh, some kind of ape or whatever. Pansateris. It's a chimpanzee from the rainforest of equatorial Africa. Gus, I'm impressed. So I've been watching too much Sports Center and not enough Discovery Channel. Animals aren't my thing. People are. Right. Well, check this out. Cut clear through the spinal column. Probably already did. Most of this damage is post-mortem. This some kind of ritual killing? You mean a human perp? No. This wasn't done with a knife. Too jagged. Most of it was blunt force. He was literally bashed to bits with a tremendous amount of force. Well, the animal must have gotten loose. A lion, a bear, maybe? No, that would have been too tidy. I mean, all the prisoners are still in their cages. So what are we left with here after uh, the process of elimination? Uh, a mountain lion with a baseball bat? What? Hey. All I do is put the bodies on ice. It's up to you guys for the interpretation. Yeah, here. You know, get on the gurney. That's a mess here. You got an extra pair of gloves? Yeah. What are you looking at? Yeah, here you go. I thought I noticed something up there. Me too. You'd probably do better with a shovel, fellas. Right. I'll take another look at the body. Maybe I can come up with something else. That'd be nice, Doc, because you were in a damn bit of hell. Uh, thanks a lot, Gus. That's cool. That's some mirth. If I have a chance, talk to the guards again, will you, Gus? I mean, we got to have something for the report. Bring it downtown corner, though. Excuse me. May I help you? 
No, I don't think so. I'm gonna have to ask yeah, you to stop what you're doing, ma'am. This is a crime scene. Oh, what can I do for you, officer? Well, you could start with your name. Dr. Hudson. Grace. I'm with the zoo. I'm the staff zoologist. Telephone. Is this personal or business? What does it look like to you? Telephone. 555-2378. Let me ask you something, Doc. What kind of animal drags its prey around and covers up its own tracks? A smart one. Excuse me? Nothing. Man's the only animal capable of that. Never seen a man kill like that. Hey, 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 what are you doing? I'm sorry. You get, you're gonna have to leave this area for now. No, I'm finished here anyway. Do you know how close you just came to getting shot? Now go on, beat it. <clears throat> Look, I, I'm on the clock here, so. What are you lost? Is that your deal? Here, come here, boy. Come here. Oh, no collar, great. Listen, you. I got a little too much on my mind to deal with a stray with no ID, okay? So, you know, I mean... What? What? Hey. All right, all right, shut up. You're giving me a headache. Okay, you win. I'm coming. I'm coming. I know you have been working on something top secret down there, but come on! Don't tell me that I'm going on a duck hunt if the woods are full of bears. I want to know, how afraid should I be of this AE-74 thing? Unfortunately, very. AE-74, or the outsiders, I started calling him was genetically engineered for the military to be the second half of a search and destroy team. The destroy part? Right. He was designed to work in an empathic partnership with the Golden Retriever, AE-73. They're psychically linked. <laughs> Genius. Whose idea was that? Mine. We made the dog in the lab, too. It's probably smarter than half of you. We didn't make a Frankenstein and set him free, Doctor. I was trying to fix the outsider, to cure him. His problems were from flaws in his design. My design. What is that? Is that you? Chewbacca, you're doing a good job today. Hey, easy 
you there, folks. We don't want to hurt ourselves. The research assistants are about a dime a dozen, and AE-74 is priceless. You do the math. All right, let's put them down. Remove the cage. It's easy for you to say. Okay, I'll back you up from over here. Yeah. Uh, you wimps, there's enough sedatives in this thing to keep Goliath down. Come on, Einstein, you've had a long day. Some sleep's gonna do you good. All right, in you go. Oh, you didn't want me to close it. Do you want me to leave it open until you go to sleep? Good, one for yes. Now let's just make sure. Do you want me to close it now? Good boy, two for no. Hi. Hi. Okay. Vital signs are slowing, stabilizing. 74 sleeping like a baby. All right, let's grab up and get to work. <clears throat> Prep the cradial saw. Ready, doctor. Keep an eye on its vital. BP and heart rate are stable. Ah, there's another one of them. You all can see that? That's one more of the brain lesions we're after. Gotcha. Yeah, miserable little... It just looks like the rest of his brain. Maybe, but these lesions obstruct his functions, his memory, his spatial judgment, his reasoning capacities. They make him disoriented. Basically, a schizophrenic. Okay, close him up. Once he heals, his brain should be reintegrated. Finally, we'll be able to rehabilitate so him. So he goes to sleep, barely functional, and wakes up a stranger to himself. Could be a bumpy ride. Mm -hmm. Time heals all wounds. Pete, give you five bucks if you just report for a little bit. Are erratic. There's an increase in density and frequency is off the scale. In other words, he's pissed. Go get Dr. Hudson for it.
now he's probably out there somewhere tracking the dog. Okay. Maybe they'll destroy each other, save us the trouble. The dog will avoid the outsider at all costs because he can sense the outsider's jealousy and hatred. All right. We better get this thing before the press does. We'll probably have more luck catching the dog because he won't run from us. We get it and use it as bait for the outsider. What do we do with them when we catch them both? Orders are to terminate the project. All of it. Now remember, you so much as breathe a word of this to any civilians, you might as well shoot them dead on the spot. This information has the highest classification. You want to stop on the way in, drop Fido off at his new home? I, I swear, I don't know, I don't know how I've worked with you all these years. <laughs> well, it's the yin and the yang, my friend. How could you even think about taking a great dog like that to the pound? Yeah, you call that a great dog? That four-legged flea bucket. <laughs> oh, you hear that? He understands, huh? He knows. Maybe not the specifics, huh? but he knows he's got no heart. Yeah. If he knew anything about human nature, he would have gone after a sucker like you. No, no, he left that up to you. Oh, yeah. Like he understands. He's a long-term thinker. Come on, let's take him to the pound. Who are you kidding? You know, if I was to take him to the pound, you'd fight me toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of the street before you'd let me drop him Come on, that's a load of crap. And you knew that I'd take the dog home. Which is something you'd do if you weren't so terrified of being responsible for something. What are you doing? Are you going to start analyzing me again? No, Murph. No, I'm not. Just kidding. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Oh, come on, let's drop it. Let's drop it. I know you don't want to talk about this. You know what? I should want to. Yes! You are not responsible for Christina's death. Not responsible! You got that, partner? Oh, bullshit. You know something, Merck? In four years, four years, I haven't seen you laugh once. Not once. You like that, huh? Yeah, I'd like it too. Well, yeah. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Hey! This may not be the Taj Mahal, but it's home. What's going on? Danger. Danger. Police officer. Working 
Okay, listen up, everybody in here. Oh, come on, come on, get out of here. None of this, let's go. Come on, come on. This is Agent Johnson, and he and his men are going to be taking over from this point on. What? Right. Everybody just drop whatever you're doing, let it go, and just walk away. Oh, wait just a goddamn second. And you are? Agent Johnson, Detective Murphy. You want to tell me what the hell's going on here? No. Well, I think you're going to have to. I got a partner in there lying in pieces. Now something's up, and I want to know what the hell's going on. Federal agent. L.A. cop. You got it? And I don't owe you anything but the opportunity to get out of my way before it becomes a problem for you. <laughs> Hold that! You... Let him go. Listen, please accept the department's apology. Detective Murphy is way out of line, and rest assured we will have disciplinary action. Shut up. No, you won't. Mr. Murphy. About to take a little mental health time. Effective immediately. You need some rest. Where did you come from, huh, boy? You've been hiding out back there, huh? Ooh. Looks like you got off better than Gus. Well, let's get you home, okay? Come on, let's go. Scrounge Meister. Come on. No, you're gonna have to excuse the mess. I really wasn't expecting company. <laughs> Make yourself at home, bud. First piece of business, I wanna get that cut of yours looked at. I wanna know what to cause an incision like that. Hey, 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 will you give me a break? It's for your own good, too. Come on. Hello? Yeah, hi, this is uh, Detective Murphy. Uh, I met you at the crime scene at the zoo the other day. Yeah, I remember. It's not exactly business hours, is it, Detective? Oh, sorry. Well, you know, there's really no hours in my business. Uh, listen, I, I could use your help. See ya. My partner was killed today. Yeah, I heard. And I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Anyway, I, I picked up a stray, and uh, he seems to have been injured by whoever or whatever killed my partner. Um, wh where are you, Detective? 2337 Lancaster. OK, I'll be right there. Well, you want directions? No, no, I'll, I'll find you. Just stay put. Huh, he's got a real animal lover on her hands. She's on her way over. You're gonna like her. She's kinda cute. Little scientist. <coughs> hey, hey, hey. What? You hungry? Well, I got some leftover the fridge. You wanna split them? <laughs> Guess so.
the hell did you manage that? I'll get back to you. What? Grace Hudson's disappeared. Pretty well trained, aren't you? What's on your mind? I'm gonna have this last piece. That's okay with you, isn't it? Would you like to go to war and die? But you would like this chicken. Yes. Take it. It's yours. And the gravy. Jesus, I need a drink. What the devil are you? What? <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Everything I'm saying. And your name is Einstein. And you were there when my partner was killed. And you're gonna help me find the killer, right? Right? You. This is my house. Now get out of the way. The doctor is here. Oh, thanks for coming. Deep gash. What would cause an irregular cut like that? An animal? Oh, maybe. Maybe just an irregular object. Jagged glass. It's lucky it didn't hit an artery. 
You hear that, Einstein? You're lucky. You got that you got whacked, but not enough to kill you kind of good luck. Looks like you could use a little medical attention yourself. Mm. Beer cure. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even offer you one. Oh, no thanks. I insist. Hey, you're gonna need it to follow the story I've got for you. Hey, I want you to come with me. I'll hide you. They're not going to let you live. What would you say if I told you that dog was smart? I mean, like, real smart. <laughs> well, you know, Murphy, people tend to boast about the abilities of their kids and their pets. It's only natural. No, 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 it's not like that. I'm not like that. Hey, I don't even like dogs. Sorry, pal. Well, I'll take him off your hands, then. I can put an ad in the paper and see if his previous owners respond. Hey, well, boy, take it easy. Looks like he's not too hot to go back to his former owners. What do you mean? He understood everything you said. Right. And that's just beer you're drinking. No, I'm not drunk and I'm not joking. Here, watch this if you don't believe me. Watch. Here. Watch this, Grace. Okay, if you think that demonstrating that he's housebroken is going to convince me, uh... Einstein, watch this. Einstein, bring me the business section. Watch this. <laughs> well, I I'm sorry for ever doubting you. That is quite a dog. I don't understand. Something's wrong. Okay, watch, Grace. Now, one bark is yes, two barks is no. Einstein, am I a detective? Maybe he thinks you're a lunatic, Murphy. You've had a horrible day. You're physically and mentally beat up. You need some rest. That's just what my captain told me. Well, he's right. Look, I'll take the dog off your hands. I can give him a better home than you can right now. I don't think so, Grace. But listen, I really want to thank you for coming over and taking a look at him, really. Thanks so much. That was sudden. I guess I'm just, you know, a little tired. Uh, uh Murphy, be careful. This is Special Agent Johnson. Please leave a message at the beep.
on the outside. Let go! Do this for me. Just make something now. Is everything all right here? You okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, she got run off the road by a couple gangbangers. They head south on Laurel. What is this? Some kind of initiation? It must be the latest thing. They. You take over the pursuit. I'll handle the. Uh, I'll handle the scene. You got it. I'll call for backup. We got about five minutes before another car arrives. Why don't you tell me what the hell's going on here? If I tell you, I, I will be putting you in more danger. How are you gonna top being attacked by Bigfoot? Okay, I'll tell you everything. But first, we have to get rid of the car. You think that thing's gonna run? I don't want them to know that I was here. All right. You got any idea in there? No, no, I have my have my things here. All right, move away. Come on, move. Okay. I need matches. All right, okay, get out of the way. Get out of the way. You're a strange woman. Yeah. Trust me. Should I? Come on, you two. Let's get out of here. Move!
Where is the dog? Where is Einstein? No, 74. Don't look. Don't look. Feel his presence. No, no. Feel his presence. Feel it. What a bunch of pigs! Somebody should teach those girls something about personal hygiene. The dressing room was filthy. Every night. <laughs> I'm finding it really hard to stay afloat. I guess he must have had something on the side. No, no I'm not giving you this stuff. I'm gonna do. What can I say, baby? I care. <laughs> This time of night. Beat it, we're closed. Louis. That's Mr. Louis, sweetheart. Good evening, Duke. What are you doing here? My representatives will be paying you a visit tomorrow evening. I'd like to know that they're welcome. We've been through this before, Louie. Nobody's selling dope in my place. That is a stupid attitude. I suggest you alter it. It will be a pity for yet another member of your family to die so untimely. Please listen to him, Duke. Oh, smart girl. When my people arrive, you will, uh, Treat them with courtesy and respect. Any of your pushers show up here, and I'll call in the cops. Leave me no choice. No! Stock up here. How much further is it? Oh, about a mile. Good. Hey, come on, Einstein. I know you're hungry. Come on. Do you prefer sodium nitrate and animal fillers or bean? Whatever you want, dear. How did you teach him to do that? What, are you kidding? He didn't teach him to eat crap like that. He picked it up on his own. He is a great dog. Well, come on, we're not gonna stay a week. Hey, we may be hiding out, but I am not roughing it. Shameless, isn't it? Don't you wish you'd just go up to a total stranger and get him to scratch your neck like that? What do you mean? You can't? He is a great dog. Well, you don't know him. He's actually very conceited. He thinks he's a genius.
The dog's biggest problem was that he was too successful. Yeah, that's always been my problem. The more the dog progressed, the farther the outsider fell behind. It was this intense sibling rivalry that turned lethal. Cain and Abel. The outsider won't stop until he tracks down Einstein and kills him. Anyone, anyone that's even had contact with the dog. Well, you saw what happened to Gus. What about the NSA guns? They plan on terminating the project, which includes Einstein. I can't let that happen. It's practically a person. <laughs> Considering some of the human contact he's had, I'd call that an insult. Ouch. Me. Hey, you know what I don't need? I don't need a lecture on compassion from a woman that's been genetically engineering the ultimate killing machine. Okay. And in wartime, would you rather have the outsider fighting in hand-to-hand -hand combat or your own son? I was practically in the middle of a sentence there, and you just checked out. Poof. My son died four years ago in a fire in our home. Murphy. His mom didn't make it either. I tried to save him. I just... I didn't make it. So many things in life slip through your fingers. Uh, a relationship here, a promotion there. In the end, none of it really matters. You just, you know, you pick yourself up, you, you keep on going. You know, that night, I, I stumbled and I never got up. Oh, oh, tuna breath. Ugh. Oh, oh, please. Enough. So was this place in summer you came with your family? No, I... I got it after. Gus and I used to come up here to fish. Unlike AE-74, AE-73 is canine counterpart, or Einstein as he is commonly referred to, exhibits advanced social skills. Preferring the company of people to that of other dogs, he seems to enjoy interacting with his handlers, specifically that of his mentor, Dr. Grace Hutton. Yeah, that's it. She's the key. If we want to find the dog, we got to find the girl. Okay, so what's the plan here? Well, obviously you have to stay away from the NSA boys. You don't have to do any more than you've already done, Murphy. I think Gus would expect more of me than that. I expect more of me than that. Well, I guess we have to convince Einstein then. How about it, E? Ready to go out and find the outsider? You know the deal. 
If we don't get to him, he's gonna find us. I promise. I'm not gonna let anything hurt you. But you're gonna have to help us find this thing. Thanks. What, you looking forward to a life on the run? <laughs> you... So tell me again, what is it that you thought you saw? I don't know what the hell it was. It was a monster. Or a creature. Right. Well, what did you see this monster do? Did, did you see where it went? No. We didn't hang around too long after it ripped a guy's face off. We decided to leave. Tell me. Could you describe this thing if you had to? Oh, yeah. That's a face I'm not going to forget for the rest of my life. I'm sorry to hear that. Guess this just isn't your day. so goddamn ugly. Seems at first it just happened that way, but later they worked at it to make it uglier. Give an advantage in combat. Scare the hell of the enemy. Clever. Lem, there's been an incident off Laurel, very close to Detective Murphy's house. Let's go take a look. Let's go, guys. There's only one bed. So what did you and Gus used to do? Mm, we used to take turns on the couch. I'll take the couch. Just let me get a pillow. Hey, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. There's only one bed. Oh, no, no, I didn't. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Three's a crowd. There was definitely a dog here. Hey, look, come here. Give it to me. Lem, mm -hmm. you should have a listen to this. There was a 911 call made from this house last night. Yes. Supervisor, who's this? This is Special Agent in Charge Johnson. Well, I have a tape I think you should yeah, hear. Yeah, go ahead. There's about five minutes. Play it that... for me. Okay. 
bang, there's about five minutes of what seems to be a dog panting. We dispatched aid immediately. People. We're looking for the address of a cabin in the mountains, probably just north of here. Get it fast. Tear the place up if you have to. Rip it out. Yeah. Get Captain Decker on the phone. See if he knows where the cabin is. You get a good night's sleep? What? You got a problem with the great outdoors. You ready, buddy? We're going hunting. No, we're not gonna hide out. We're gonna face this thing head on. Hey, what is it, Einstein? No, uh, no, I think he's afraid. No, no, it's not that. He is psychically linked to the outsider. I mean, he wants to wait here. He must know that 74 is going to come here looking for us. Einstein wants to wait for him. It's too risky. I prefer to keep moving, stay ahead of the NSA guys. Uh, 74 must be close. All right. Let's get some supplies together. We're gonna move to a more fortified position. Proceed from here on foot. The cabin is about a mile up the road. I want to take them by surprise. And our order, sir. Capture the dog. Now listen up, gentlemen. This is a micro transceiver homing projectile unit. We tag Fido with it, and then we track him. That son of a bitch can move like lightning. The others, shoot the kill. Lem, come on. They're both privy to the fact that a government experiment has backfired and is killing civilians. That kind of information isn't fit for public consumption, no matter what the cost. OK, let's, let's go, go, ladies. Move it out. Come on, come on, let's go. Tell you what, they were packing some kick ass firepower, too.
found us. We gotta give ourselves up. No way. That guy had orders to shoot. They're not gonna let us live. Are you sure about that? Murphy, they're here to kill us and take Einstein. We got no choice. None at all. <laughs> outside. Murphy. We don't have the firepower to take on the entire NSA and the outsider. Now go! Move! Move! Furry freak! Wrong, boy. You wanna go for a ride? I can't take you home. I got too many damn dogs at home as it is. My wife can kill me. So you going home now, right? Go on home now. Go on, get. Come on.
you go away. What the hell hit me? Was it a bullet? Where's Grace? Did the feds get her? The outsider? Oh my god. Is she dead? Okay, she's not dead, are you sure? Oh, man, we're not going anywhere in that thing. Einstein, do you know where she is? Okay, do you know what direction she went in? We're not going to get anywhere like this. Stop! Police officer! This dog. Thanks for stopping. Oh, sure, officer. Uh, it's a pretty empty stretch of road. I really wasn't expecting that. We're going to need your car. Oh, yeah, me too. I, I, you, know, I you drive, we'll ride in the back. Oh, sure, of course. You still going in the right direction? Yes and no. Oh, oh, you don't know. Unbelievable. Hey, just drive, will you? We're lost, aren't we? Back up the car, stop! stop. Th this is ridiculous. Just do it! I'm turning, I'm turning. Get out. What the hell? That's a, uh, it's an orange, officer. Shut up. This means something. Trust the dog. Let's get out of here. Move! Pet me.
The trail. She left us a trail. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, you know, gee, who wouldn't want to see the two of you again? Oh, would you shut up and follow the oranges? <sighs> Say, uh, I don't suppose that that has something to do with you. Just remember, I've got a gun pointed right at you. What's that? Oh, that's, uh, that's uh, just a bunch of oranges. Here. Easy, buddy. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's really good for you. Go on, wise ass. Get out of here. Oh, sure, sure, officer. Thank you. Uh, you have a nice evening. Thank you very much. It shoot you. Man, it worked, didn't it? Get the hell out of here. I 
Are you all right? This is really a heartwarming scene. What? A family reunion. Mom and dad and their freak of a child and their talking dog. Stop right where you are, Murphy. Put the gun on the ground. No! Do it. Or I'll take out both her eyes. Kick it across the floor. Now. Step away from the circus freak. No. That is not a decision for you to make. I'll take two for one. Whack me, will you? Turn it on its side. <laughs> if you kill us all here, how are you going to explain it? The heat from the chemical fire won't leave anything to explain. Which, by the way, Everybody wants. Not us. Go on, Einstein. You can get it out, out of here. Doc! You so much as scratch anything between your smelly legs, I'm gonna shoot them off. Oh, people. I wish I could say that this has been a pleasure, but you have been a royal pain in the ass. You and a freak. Cost me my whole unit. Train men. For nothing. No! 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 Look what you made me do.
Let's go home. Four souls came together that night. In the last moments of his life, the outsider sacrificed himself to save us. He had evolved. So did we.